The effort to cap the deep water oil well that's gushing thousands of barrels of crude oil each day into the Gulf of Mexico received a big setback Saturday when ice crystals or hydrates encased the giant containment box that had been lowered to cover the well. What they did is formed on the inside of the dome, which tried to make the dome buoyant, and it also plugged up the top of the dome where the oil would come out of. So what we had to do was pick the dome back up, set it over to the side while we evaluate what options we have to actually um, try to prevent the hydrate formation or find some other method to try to capture the flow. BP officials have not given up hope that a containment box, either this one or an even bigger one that's now being built, could do the job. But officials say it will be at least Monday before a decision is made on what to do next. Well, I wouldn't say it's failed yet. Um, what I would say is what we attempted to do last night didn't work because uh, these hydrates plugged up the top of the dome. Meanwhile, thick blobs of tar have begun washing up on Dauphin Island at the mouth of Mobile Bay. Authorities say they plan to test the substance, but strongly suspect it came from the oil spill. I'm very concerned. This uh, is going to be absolutely devastating to our economy if this oil comes here. Saturday crews were laying down long lines of materials resembling pom-poms to protect the beach from oily debris. It's very worrying. It's really, really kind of sad. This area has been through so much with hurricanes. And the people down here in the fishing industry, um, I really hate to see it. It's very sad. It breaks my heart. According to a BP internal investigation, it now appears that the original blowout was triggered by a bubble of methane gas that escaped from the well and shot up the drill column, expanding quickly and breaking through several seals and barriers before exploding. Sophia Manos, The Associated Press.